because you see, uh, look at the the, um, the meaning of philosophy again. Huh? Uh, uh, we inherited from the Greeks this kind of philosophy. Philosophy is a science, and therefore it's a kind of knowledge. Okay, philosophy is a science. Uh, which inquires into the ultimate causes, reasons, and principles of all things in the light of reason alone. But as a science, it's a form of knowledge. Okay? So, until the modern age, uh, philosophy is indulged in by, by professors, by students, by scholars, not by scholars. Um, it's a form of knowledge, okay? And so the, 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 the challenge started with the Renaissance, you know, after the ancient times, the medieval times, okay? Uh, the 13th century is the highest point of the medieval age, the age of the church. After that, it started to decline. Okay, pag may decline ng isang civilization, at this point, it becomes very dark. <laughs> Kaya, itong mga, philosoph mga Renaissance uh, philosophers dito, mga Renaissance historians dito, dahil uh, napifil nila yung darkness ng period na to, sabi na, that's a dark age. <laughs> that's a dark age. So we need a renaissance, we need, we need to resurrect, you know, the glory that was Greece, the, the brilliance of, uh, of the ancients, okay, so yan ang renaissance, but uh, at the cost and the price of everything that they had learned previously from the medievals, okay, they will have to go back to the Greeks, to the ancients, but uh, at, at the cost. Of uh, the price of the medieval thinkers, so uh, itong age ng Renaissance was an age of uh, of, criti uh, of criticism. They criticized uh, the what they were learning from school, yeah. uh, the, the scholastic uh, type of philosophy, the authority of the church, okay, and so uh, this was an age of doubt. The Renaissance age was an age of doubt. Nandiyan si Voltaire, nandiyan yung mga encyclopedist. <laughs> yan ang panahon ni Rizal. Yan ang natagpon ni Rizal na kaya Rizal has the, a, a very critical mind. No? Uh, that, that was the age of our revolution also. Uh, so this was a, a critical, a time of critique. Now, kaya Descartes came in very handily. Sabi ni Rene Descartes, uh, you are all doubting, but at the same time, we are all searching for the truth. We are all searching for knowledge. We are doubting because we would want to, sec to, uh, to, uh, to secure the foundation of knowledge. We, we would like to, to arrive at science. No? So, um, okay, if, if, if you are all doubting, let's doubt some more. <laughs> And let's doubt without reserve. Let's doubt everything. All right? Let's doubt everything. Ito ang uh, buong, buong modern age, modern philosophy. It's an age of critique. You know, uh, ni refine ni Locke, ni refine ni Berkeley, um, universal doubt, ni refine ni Jung, at ang um, final the culmination and refinement niyan in a Kant when he critiqued now if you read the critical preview pure reason walang lahat talaga ng structure ng knowledge na nanggaling sa sa west um, ancient and medieval all of it came, came tumbling down so to speak okay so your critique of pure reason is a critique of knowledge all the knowledge that we have gained in the past is critiqued here. In short, yeah, but, but it, it is, uh, there is a positive side to this critique. It is not criticizing only for the sake of um, criticism. 
but we are critiquing our knowledge because we would like to uh, arrive at, at certitude, no? But what is the nature of human knowledge? What is the nature of human knowledge? At the uh, mm -hmm. contribution, I can uh, I I am not ready to explain it uh, clearly here, but with Kant, my thesis is, now my conviction is, uh, it took me a long time before I can get this convinced, with Kant, <clears throat> with Kant we already, we have arrived at a certitude on what is human knowledge, what is the nature of human knowledge, and what is that. What's the nature of human knowledge? You find it in the critique of pure reason. And you find it uh, very briefly stated by Kant. <laughs> and he, when he said, uh, um, thoughts without contents are empty, intuitions without concepts are blind. This is the summary of the theory of knowledge of Kant, and this is what knowledge is. This is what knowledge is. Knowledge is not just thinking, not just thoughts. Thoughts without contents are empty. But knowledge is also not just contents, not just intuitions. Intuitions without concepts are blind. Knowledge, uh, thoughts or concepts and intuitions or contents. Okay. Uh, for the Pink A runner, I will also be teaching runner uh, this semester. Runner will say, uh, and he's, he's also coming from, he's trying to defend Thomism uh, through Kant. Yeah, that's difficult, no? Sabini, Sabini runner, that's what knowledge is. It's it's, knowledge is, not, there's no such thing as just abstract knowledge. Um, knowledge is all something experiential. If it's knowledge, then it's, um, it's solid. <laughs> it's magkasama uh, dyan ang concepts at ang, kung baga sa language na ni St. Thomas Aquinas at ng Aristotelian, Nandiyan ang matter and form. Laging magkasama ang matter and form. Laging magkasama ang, ang concept at ang, uh, at ang intuitions. Pag walang intuitions, walang knowledge. That's why Thomas said, uh, si St. Thomas, sabi ni St. Thomas, how can, I, how can I believe you unless I've seen the Lord and have touched his wounds? I, I will not. The, uh, believe in what you are trying to tell me. No, eh, nakatong hindi pa umakyat ng Panginoon. Hey, uh, Thomas, I'm here. Touch my wound. No? Look at me. And then, um, you know, my Lord and my God. Bakit? Nakita niya. There is intuition. That is what is meant by intuition. Okay? Lang may intuition. Kailangan okay? may intuition. It's not knowledge. You don't know. Kung basta abstract knowledge lang. No, walang, walang content. Kailangan may content yan. Kailangan may intuition. Kailangan may experience. Kaya after Kant, nandiyan ang phenomenology, nandiyan ang existentialism, nandiyan ang hermeneutics, all of that could not have been possible without Kant, and of course, Kant naman would not have been there without the whole history. He is an, answering the, the challenge of uh, the whole history. That's how valuable the critique of pure reason is. With the critique of pure reason, we already know what is human knowledge. And human knowledge is always only human. Sometimes you forget that. Kala natin knowledge, alam ko yan, alam ko, nakakalimutan mong human lang yan. <laughs> All knowledge is only human knowledge, it's only knowledge, language of philosophy. It's only knowledge of phenomenon, of things as they appear, never knowledge of things as they are in themselves.
<laughs> Our knowledge is always only knowledge of phenomenon, of things as they appear to us, never knowledge of things as they are in them. I will never know you as you are in yourself completely as you are. Even you, you cannot know yourself completely <laughs> as you are in yourself. Lahat ng knowledge natin is, is knowledge of phenomenon. How it appears to us. How we experience it. How uh, we are able to interact. Uh, what I know is uh, what I have experienced. I'll continue this to directly answer your question. So if you uh, uh, get hold of the critique of your reason, is it here? Oh, it's over there. If you look at the critique of your reason, ganyan ang division ng critique of your reason. No? Elements of transcendentalism divided into two. The first part is uh, on on intuitions, and the second part is on concepts. Okay, and if you have intuitions and concepts, then you have knowledge. Your intuition part, yun ang transcendental aesthetic. Yung concept, yung part ng concept, yun transcendental um, analytic. No? Kung ito lang, uh, kung di, narito lang tayo, ha, uh, magkasama ang transcendental aesthetic at ang transcendental analytic, so magkasama ang concepts at ang intuitions, we are safe. Itong realm of knowledge. Ang hirap sa atin, we are not content with this, with this realm of knowledge. It's natural. It's part of the nature of reason. Nandumampas. Beyond what we can know. Kaya, nyan uh, dyan ang metaphysics. <laughs> Kung sa knowledge lang, nandyan ang pagdating sa aesthetic, mathematics yan. Pagdating sa analytics, nandyan ang physics, ang natural sciences. Pero pag lumampas ka dyan, nandyan ang metaphysics. And this is a stormy sea of illusion. Wala na diyang yung, yung magkasama ang intuition at concepts. No? Nandiyan ang pure reason. At one meaning of the critique of pure reason is the critique of this, critique of metaphysics. The question is, uh, dahil ang example ng metaphysics is uh, this metaphysical question is a God, freedom, and immortality. No? Nandiyan ang question ng God, freedom, and immortality. Uh, wala yan sa mathematics. Wala yan sa natural sciences. Pero pag oras ng isang thinker ay magtamper na sa uh, questions of God, freedom, and immortality, he is going beyond what he can know. Metaphysics na yan. No? And the question is, can we know? Can we know? Uh, when it comes to God, can we really know whether there is, there is God? If our, our human knowledge is only thoughts without contents are empty, intuitions without concepts are blind, dito sa pagdating sa God, freedom, and immortality, Nasa na yung intuition? May concept ka, sure. Pero nasa na intuition mo? Mabuti si, si, si Thomas. Nandun pa sa pangayam si Jesus, ano? <laughs> Pero ngayon, umakyat sa langit eh. Iniwanan na si Holy Spirit na nga eh. <laughs> Holy Spirit ang iniwanan niya. It's pure reason. Pure reason. The proof nothing for the existence of God. It's pure reason. And uh, when it comes to pure reason, ba? Yes, yes. When it comes to pure reason, you can prove that God exists. 
but you can also prove that God does not exist. The same pure reason <laughs> can prove that God exists and God does not exist. Yan ang antinomy of pure reason. The same reason can prove and disprove that God does not exist. Kasi nasa level na tayo ng pure reason lang. And so, kahit na nung gawin mong convincing, I know it from experience, nagahanap ako ng vocation, magta-travel ako by sea, hindi pa uso nun ang um, aeroplano, o mayaman lang yun eh. eh nagahanap ako ng vocation ko eh, siyempre, nag-corcus ako ng seas. Nag and then I, I, very often I would meet, uh, overnight yun eh, pupunta ako sa South and overnight yun, eh, makakatagpo ako ng, ng atheista, no? Talk with an atheist the whole night. By the time that you part ways, he will still be an atheist. <laughs> and also he cannot convince me, and I cannot convince him. Why? Few reasons like you. Well, that's why there are atheists. <clears throat> and you cannot blame them. <laughs> No, kailangan din ang grace siguro. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a, wow, why do you believe despite the fact that you don't know? That you have no evidence? Okay? But you believe. It's happening in you. That's the miracle. That despite the fact that people don't understand, they believe. <laughs> Pero faith yan, hindi yan knowledge. <laughs> okay.